Sun Wukong, Sun Wukong, Sun Wukong. Yes, Sun Wukong. His wonderful tales of his journey to the West have been told worldwide through literature, through movies, and through video games. And anime. And he is one of my favorites, and I've built him a lot on this channel. Okay, it was twice, but still. Okay, fine. This is just another excuse to say that I'm building him again. Okay, cut to the intro. <laughs> Hello world, it's me again, Jamang Bai, and on today's episode, we'll be taking a look at this. This is the Lowe's Mini Sun Wukong. I've been referring to it as Mecha Sun Wukong because it looks like a giant robot. I mean, look at it. Look at it! Look at it! I've been seeing this guy on AliExpress a lot, but I just so happened to be on Amazon and there it was. So I had to get it. Back fixed! Everything inside the box is everything that you see right here. All right, let's get everything out of here and let's get started. Come on, really? Anyway, let's build up. Like it's ripped open. It's the headband. <clears throat> what? The slave headband. The one I fit on you. You put this on me. Let me explain. Get this thing off, or I'm gonna rip your head off. No. No? You think I'm screwing with you? Yes! Come in, stop! It works. Come in, move away from me. I hacked a slave headband so it could be activated by my voice commands. Activation triggers a systemic pain response. It's what controls the slaves. I'm gonna kill you. You can't. If my heart stops beating for any reason, the headband will discharge a lethal dose. If I die, you die. Oh. Why? I need your help. I come from a wind farmer community. It's about 300 miles from here. I'll never make it on my own. If slavers don't get me, Max will. That's the deal. Get me back to my home and you can go back to yours. Looks like I don't have a choice. Neither of us do. I'm sorry. Okay. Let's go.
Do you think you could tell me what the plan is? To get you home as fast as possible so that you can take this thing off my head and I can break your neck. I meant... Yeah, I know what you meant. See that smoke over there? That's where the slave ship came down. First thing we're gonna do is head for that. Hoping my ride survived the crash. What's your ride? Yeah, it's the only way I know how to cover 300 miles. Two wheels and an engine. If we're gonna get through this, then when I ask you to do something, you need to do it immediately. Okay. I understand. Max! Shh. We can't sneak past them. I'll get across and draw their attention. Then you make a run for it. Yet. There's the way out. But we'll never make it across that gap. 
There's no cover. Maybe this time I can distract them? I might be able to create a decoy. Distract them! Okay, got it. Let's go! It's running out! Be careful! This tree. It must be hundreds of years old. What is it? The road ahead's mined. I need to find another way. I think I might be able to do something. Me. Hey. See the dragonflies? I need you to catch one. I'm not commanding you. I'm asking you. The branches are pretty high. Oh. Huh. So. 
So, you want me to catch one of these dragonflies? It might be difficult. They frighten easily and they're quick. There's one. Right there. I'll put it on your display. It's just, it's, it's right over there. It's just. Ugh. I know, I can see it. I'm not blind. Be careful. Thank you. Merciless insect, I'm gonna kill you. Oh, what a day. Did you catch it yet? No, no, not yet. Got it. That's great. Bring it back down here. I used to play with dragonflies all the time as a kid. Didn't you? No, I used to squash them. They evolved some simple sensors to help them sniff out energy sources. Hmm. They're pretty basic, but... For our purposes, I'll do the trick. <laughs> Keep still. It's now set up to send a live relay to your headband. It has a camera setting and a sensor setting. So? Try it out. That was easy. All right, let's take a look at the Lowe's Mini Sun Wukong. I'll definitely say that this mecha design actually works for Sun Wukong. The design falls somewhere in between SD and standard size mecha. A good example of that would be the cross silhouette line from Bandai Spirits, a line that I actually really love. I'm very impressed at how much detail this guy has, especially for his size. There's definitely a level of complexity here. Speaking of complexity, this guy took a little while to build. I will say that. According to my watch, it took three hours and six minutes to build, but there was a point where I actually didn't hit start on my stopwatch. So yeah, I had to actually take breaks in between because I had to go pick my son up, uh, my camera kept dying, I had to dump my um, memory card. There was all kinds of stuff going on, but none of that took away from how fun this model was to put together. I did almost lose a piece, this guy right here. It kind of sucks because there weren't any extras. With all that aside, let's talk about the articulation on this guy. Heads on a ball joint, you can look up and down this much. Left and right action. You got plenty of tilt action here. Hinge joint in the mouth for some open and close. Shoulder section has a ball joint, but it has a hinge that works as a butterfly joint. Another ball joint at the shoulder. Ball joint and the bicep. Bicep swivel. Ball joint on the wrist. Each finger has a hinge joint. Chest flap is on a ball joint. Base of the side skirt has some up and down. Side skirt pieces are on the ball joint. 
Base of the leg is on a ball joint, hinge on the leg and it can only go up this much, ankle swivel and rocker. And the foot can go up this much and back this much. Sun Wukong's tail pieces are all on hinges, while Sun Wukong's scarf pieces are all on ball joints. When it comes to accessories, he comes with his legendary staff, which might I add is actually very detailed and you can place it in his hand by simply lining this area up here with this peg right here. And to keep it from moving, you would close the fingers like this. Sun Wukong also comes with a flight stand with a gimmick that I can't stop messing with. <clears throat> oh, oh, sorry. The top of the flight stand will plug right into Sun Wukong's back just like so. Just make sure to put this guy on something really, really solid because this thing wobbles a lot. Now, let's get to some size comparisons, shall we? Here he is next to two Sun Wukong models from the Lowe's mini line. Here he is next to two Sun Goku figures from the SH Figure Arts line. Last but not least, League of Legends Sun Wukong and the very cool toys Sun Wukong. So, what's the verdict? And that wraps it up for today's episode of Jamang Bai Builds. I will catch you on the next episode. In the meantime, keep on building. See you next time.